So we're having the family round this evening. We're going to start with It's a Wonderful Life and then Scrooge. Oh, the Alistair Sim version, I hope. Of course. And then Miracle on 34th Street. If we can get the projector to work. On the old video machine. Oh, I'm sure we'll be fine. Well, Dad stored it in the barn two Christmases ago. It's ancient and he's the only one that knows how to get it set up properly. Well, if we have a problem, we'll just phone him in Scotland. Them tapes won't be much cop, neither. Recorded all them films off telly years ago. Uh, right, anything else? Sam, are you bringing us some into me and making it? I can't find it, can I? Yeah, that's because there's none there. It's been selling like hot, um, well, mince pies. <laughs> Got some upstairs, I'll go get it. So, uh, are you bringing Ellis? No, thank you. All right. What about Kane? You need to ask him. What do I have to? Well, the reason I'm doing this is to, you know, make things less tense in the family. You can at least ask him. Yeah, but why me? I mean, obviously, I want them to get on. I want Kane and Nate to sort everything out, but not when Kane's behaving like this. After everything that's happened, it's better coming from you, believe me. Look, just send him a text. Don't have to be covered in heart emojis or hope. Just let him know he's welcome. Right, you be good, mate. Bye. Bye. Make sure he gets to school OK, and uh, if you know who turns up, then make sure he doesn't speak to him. Look, I am no fan of Nate, but I'm not happy about you turning him into some sort of bogeyman. I don't want him upset. Let me both agree on something. Let's keep it that way, yeah? Are you looking forward to your carol concert today? Yeah, we've got a Christmas tree in the school hall. Wow. Hiya, mate. How you doing? Kyle? What's going on? Not now, eh? Come on, mister. Let's get you to school. I'm not stopping. I just want to talk. Well, I don't think we've got much to talk about, do you? What was that about earlier? With Kyle, it's like he's scared of me. Well, maybe that's because he is. Why? Why? You kept on pushing it, didn't you? So Kane's decided to push back? Kyle's my brother. Kane can't change that. Yeah, but he can stop him from wanting to be anywhere near you. Kane's told him not to speak to you because you're dangerous. So now the poor kid's terrified of you. So set him straight. I'm not the bad guy here. I can't. I can't risk Kane threatening me access to him again. And I'm not about to go out on a limb for you. I don't want Kyle feeling like he's scared. So you just need to keep away from him. Where are you going? It's time me and Kane had words. Oi! The hell's your problem? Might ask you the same question. Amy, tell me what you said to Aaron, Kyle. Did she now? Me and you have got our issues, but scaring a kid? Seriously. I just told him the truth. You're a scary bloke. Can't listen to what you're really about. You know I never write him. Well, you already did, because you split up his parents. Yeah. That was going to happen anyway. I just done some nudging, that's all. You stay away from my son. Oh, you want to do it this way? Hey, hey, come on, take it easy, eh? Come on, it's Christmas, isn't it? I mean, uh, you stay away from Kyle. You OK? What do you care? Not exactly on my side in this, are you? Well, I ain't against you either. It's just... Well, it's hard, isn't it? I'm not the one making things difficult, Sam. Maybe it's just the way he is. He's not that bad, really, you know, Kane. Look, we didn't even know we were brothers till we were grown up. And when we did, treated me like he does you for a long time. Like that, then, yeah? Worse. And I'm not a big bloke like you, am I? I was that scared of him. I tried to batter him in his sleep once. I ran off when it didn't work. I lived rough for weeks. And he knew about it. He didn't do out, didn't tell anyone, just left me out there. Yeah, still not seeing that heart of gold beneath that rough exterior. Well, it changed, didn't he? So you're not scared of him now? I wouldn't cross him, like, but... I don't reckon he'd hurt me, no. What happened? My wife, Alice, she were ill. 
cancer. Well, she, she were dying. And, um... Look, he, he, he was just there for me when I needed him most, that's all. The point is... Me and him being proper brothers, it didn't happen overnight. It took time. So bear it in mind. Any road. I'm sorry, you know, for blanking you at first. Whatever's happening with you and Kane, I'm still your uncle, and I should have said so. So now I am. All right. Thought you'd be heading over to Lydia's film thingy. It'll be fun. Only reason I'm not going is because I'm on here. Watching our Marlon well up over Tiny Tim dying. Can't wait. Oh, you know you'd like it, really. Anyway, I'm not welcome, am I? Yeah. Read our Bell's invite text. Feel the love. She won't have meant anything by it. She's probably just missing her dad. Yeah, well, I can't be doing with it. Anyway, last time I was there, we all sat round having a cosy little dinner with Nate. I know, but they won't be so daft to do that again, would they? Come on, I know things are a bit tense with everyone right now, but no need to be mardy with them. I'm not being mardy. Yes, you are. You know you are. Why don't you try being the bigger man, eh? What do you mean, that season of goodwill? Families coming together and all that. There's something to be said for it. Some of us are, like, how would you say, normal. More normal, any Rod. <laughs> and where's Kane on the scale? Uh, he used to kick off loads, like I said, but not so much nowadays. Moira calmed him down a lot. Well, we found it. All right. Yeah, yeah. Nate, see you. Yeah, I can see that. <sighs> We're just having a chat. Well, I'm going to make tea in a minute. Don't want to start too late on the films and I need to sort all this out. I can probably help with that. I was just wondering if uh, Nate could stay as well. I don't want to cause any bother, you know, after last time. <sighs> I reckon it'll be all right. I mean, Kane's not going to be here, is he? No, no, you made that pretty clear. Well then, why not? You're welcome, if you fancy it. Which one's he again? It's the ghost of Christmas present. You all right? Yeah, it just gets super emotional with Scrooge. It's just tiny Tim. <laughs> Will you be quiet? I'm trying to watch it. But you look always like this, watching a film. Yes. Every single yeah. time. <laughs> this is cosy. You want to tell me what he's doing here? Oh. I'm guessing you didn't know. You're guessing right. We didn't think you were coming. Oh, um, that's OK then, isn't it? How many times does this have to happen? But let's not kick off about it, eh? What do you expect? Look, it's my fault I invited him. Can we not just try to get on? You do remember what happened with my wife? And you made me pay. You keep making me pay. Not enough. Guess making Kyle terrified of me don't count, then. What? Oh, yeah. He's been telling him I'm some kind of monster. How low is that? Well, about as low as you lot playing happy families. Again. Maybe I should go. No, maybe you should stay where you are because you need to get past this. Oh, right. Is, is that the general consensus? OK. Have fun. The rest of you, go to hell. <laughs>